Ranish Vakarma. Nine, I am 19 year old, currently pursuing MBBS from Kharkiv National Medical College, Ukraine. Actually, I was passionate about MBBS. So uh, there was many options like private colleges in India, uh, Russia, Poland. But I have, I have heard many things about Ukraine. My friends were already there and they suggested me that Ukraine is the best country for doing MBBS rather than India. It was my first time. Actually, the feeling was very mixed type, uh, like nervousness plus excitement too, as I wanted to explore the another country. Actually, I was nervousness because uh, it obviously it was a new country, new people, new habitat. Everything was different. So I was a bit nervous there. It was not uh, that difficult because the people I was surrounding in the hostel was were Indians. So they accommodate us, the hostel monitor accommodate us hostel room on the first day itself. So it was not that difficult to, um, to stay there. Food, uh, food was also good there because it was Indian mess so we have Indian chef there. And they provided us with the washing machine, kitchens, uh, separate bathrooms, separate rooms and all. So it was good. It took around 15 to 20 minutes to reach a university from my hostel. Mm -hmm. It was far away, uh, I guess two, two uh, stations, two metro stations. It was not that far. Mm -hmm. It was good. Traveling there is easier and cheaper too. The time was not fixed because we were having some class online, some lecture. So it was not fixed time, but the usually university time was 9 to 5. It was very safe. The people there are very friendly to each other. So and uh, they don't discriminate like Indian, Ukrainians. They were very friendly with us, the local people. It took about a month for getting settled down, but later on we got settled very easily. With friends, I, I used to converse with in English or Hindi. But in university, they teach, uh, they taught us Ukrainian as well as Russian because the local people there used to talk in Russian. And as Russian was banned uh, uh, banned in recent years, so they taught us Ukrainian. So you started speaking in Ukrainian? Language. Yeah, we started speaking in Ukrainian and Russian too. feeling that we were very chill. We were not knowing ki, uh, what is happening or nothing else. Uh, we came to know that on 24th of Feb. How did you get in there? Uh, we got up in the morning by bombing sound. It was far but the sound was very clear. So that day we realized that war is going to happen. We all got scared because we were not know we were like a war is no never gonna happen. This, this is just Indian media stuff and all. But that day we realized ki what is going to happen. We were all shocked. After some time, our hostel, moni hostel monitor declared that it is not safe. We have to move to the bunker right now. We left everything. Uh, like our clothes, our tablets, computers, laptops. We left everything. We just took one water bottle and snacks for us down because no, there was no space for us also. So it was not possible to keep our things there. Actually, I don't know uh, the height of bunker, but it was not too big. It was a small basement type kind of. Yeah, it was slang, uh, basement kind of. And it was it was not spacious at all. To accommodate four to 500 students, there was very difficult. We used to sit at one place and sleep at one place only. Things got worse. When we asked Lakshmi, now tell me what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened. There was also a bomb in Kharkiv. And we are asked to go to the bunkers. Now, we did not know how safe the bunkers were. We started coordinating with the people we knew, popular people, ministers or their PAs, asking them how we can approach, what can be done at the government level. Every place where we could think of help, we started approaching there. But the things went worse when they were in bunkers for six to seven days. But never the child told us uh, that uh, anything of that scary part is happening. And uh, 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 for those six days, I mean, for five and ten minutes, she used to uh, go to the hostel room. Uh, they, were, they were allowed to take uh, some snacks, water bottle. But still, we were insisting that keep your documents with you. It was 
horrible because uh, uh, we were not supposed to use our phones uh, because of work condition they informed us to switch off our switch off our phones or keep on flight mode because it is not safe they can hack your network and all so uh, we were we were not having anything to do there we were not having enough snack enough snacks enough uh, water for drinking no we were not supposed to go out because uh, the bombing and shelling was continuous so it was not safe for us to go to e- even to the market which was which was front in front of our hostel so it was not safe to move out they uh, by they send us to our rooms for only 5 minutes for uh, washing our faces and all but it was also not safe we moved to the bunker on 24th of feb and we were in the bunker till uh, 2nd of march 24th 25th she did not reveal anything and she was trying to hide and we were trying to hide her then uh, there is much of casualties so both side it was she did not wanted to scare the parents and we did not wanted to scare the kid but uh, somehow ultimately uh, we both broke out we both broke down and uh, you know, she said now it is very difficult to stay here now there is no food left no water left and uh, every now and then we are asked to black out uh, uh, the the blackout is then the, there is no light there is heavy noise of shellings and i couldn't remember uh, like I, i i don't know if i would be able to express when she went to a second floor uh, hostel room where the glass broke due to shelling and then it was like she is not safe first of march we got a call from few of our uh, stu- uh, no, i mean uh, hostel uh, friends saying that we five six would like to move from here agar hum log yahan se didi nahi gaye to bahut bura hoga yahan pe bahut worst condition hai मैंने बोला बट बच्चा ऐसे नहीं है बाहर नहीं हमने आपसे छुपाया बाहर आप लोग देख रहे हो उससे भी खराब हालत है एंड देन वी केम टू नो दैट शी हैज एक्सपीरियंस्ड एवरीथिंग इन बंकर दो दे डिड नॉट सी इट अपराइट बाय देयर आईज बट द नॉइज एंड द न्यूज व्हिच मेड द राउंड्स एवरीथिंग टोल्ड हर व्हाट द सिचुएशन इन खारकी वाज एंड विद दैट इंसिडेंस ऑफ द विंडो पेन ब्रेकिंग वी i mean they we, we could not manage ourselves those were sleepless nights like we thought that out of exertion if we sleep and we are not able to connect her then what would happen so on in rounds we used to keep the alarms and try to connect her and we only asked how is everything all good so she just had to reply which made sure that she is okay we all were scared because moving moving to a place which is 15 kilometers far away is very difficult when there is continuous bombing and shelling at that time taxi was not available taxi metros buses were not available so only uh, mean of transport was by walking he just told us to move with him in a line please don't go separate because it was not safe there it was very chill it was around minus 2 to minus 5 degrees celsius so walking in that temperature was also very dif- difficult carrying our documents carrying water bottles carrying snacks it was very difficult yeah because all market were closed there were not even a single person out there all uh, actually our hostel is in alexivska so it is uh, every time it is very there is very rush there so at that time there was not even a single person there so it all made us scared it was very crowded it was very crowded Yeah, right. We, um, there was a uh, four to five hundred Indian students plus Ukrainian students plus people from every country, so it was very crowded there. Yeah. Our hostel monitor informed us to board the uh, train, but it was not possible because people there were not allowing Indians to board. How were they stopping? Uh, they kept my friends on gunpoint. We don't know. Uh, they are Ukrainian police or Ukrainian uh, local people, but they kept our friends on gunpoint. They were not allowing any Indian students to board the train. What to do now? Our hostel monitor was coordinating to every like uh, authority, but he was also not able to understand what to do now. So we all were in scary situation. Was there a situation where all of you just gave up? Right? Yeah, we all gave up. What did you feel? And then bombing started. <laughs> Again, gave up. 
we felt this is the end actually i tried to call dad also ki this is the end we were not able to like understand the situation it was very scary because we were able to hear the bombing sound right in front of us we were able to see the smoke of bombs and all because of bombing and shelling our hostel monitor told us to move to the metro station of avogzal 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 station has two parts one from where you have to board for the borders and all and one is common metro station uh, metro station is always is, metro station is considered as bunker so we moved to the bunker we were asking them to be very careful kahin se shelling hoga kuch hoga to aapko barabar se jana hai dhyan rakhna hai sometimes the live location said sometimes the messages and and then they did no one thing like they started recording the messages and sending in the group hum log yahan tak pahunche hai itna kilometer baki hai and we are all are safe aise ek ek bacche humko audio recording bhejte gaye uh, which helped us a little but i would not say it was a relief because till they reached pisochin uh, we were not in a condition to talk to anybody or do anything and our life had stopped there or we, we were breathing because we were just alive and uh we know we wanted to desperately see her video call we could not do she did not wanted to speak in that condition she also wanted to save the phone battery so things were getting more and more difficult it was very scary because uh there was one bomb uh which blast in nearly 200 meters from me so i gave up at that point but my friends uh, forced me to walk so i carry on What were they telling you? What was it? Wrong? How were you people keeping yourself motivated? We were not having any option. Uh, we we all did this because of our parents. They were waiting for us. Did you? We were not supposed to stop because uh, we started moving from Vogzal Station for around three twenty p.m. and uh, it was declared that there will be curfew in Khaki from six p.m. So in three hours, at any cost, we have to uh, complete twenty to twenty-five kilometer. So we were not supposed to stop at any place because after curfew, there is order to sh- there is shoot at sight order. So we have uh, we have to complete that. So what was the roads? How was the scenario? Ah, uh, the uh, the malls, the shops were destroyed, fully destroyed. We were walking on the uh, glasses, broke glasses. because the shops the cars the bikes and all were destroyed we were uh, supposed to carry indian flags at a moment uh, the, the shelling continuously started so we all were scared and then we saw military people ukrainian military people they took us to a tunnel uh, that was not a huge tunnel but for some time they kept us there so uh, till shelling uh, ends so we were there and then they helped us to uh, move they told the guide us started moving by bus because our uh, some of our officials asked us to pay uh, dollars uh, to cross the border or to go to lviv which is which was safe there so some students started moving who were uh, who were having hard cash we weren't having hard cash we told them that we can transfer you but they uh, but they told us that driver only needs cash so we were not having any option rather than staying there some students started boarding the bus on also on 4th of march 5th of march we boarded bus on 6th of march free of cost what was the cost they asked for the uh firstly they asked 200 dollars then 500 dollars 650 dollars 550 dollars uh we were not having hard cash so we we were not having option to move because uh, we were not having cash and then uh, one official told ki uh, he will evacuate all of us on 6th of march firstly they told us we are heading to ternopil and then to border but uh, they also don't know fixed uh, fixed destination because it was changing at, uh, according to the official call so we uh, at last we headed towards romania border from where we were supposed to get flight to india actually 
we traveled the whole night so it was all black out outside so uh, we don't uh, we were sleeping all the time we were sleeping because we were not having any option so we walked for around 2 kilometers and then there were indian embassy officials they helped us a lot they took uh, they we boarded a bus from there to uh, 50 km far away and then they took us to a safe house shelter of, of indian embassy it was very good the things were things there was very good the food availability the water availability the seating arrangement the sleeping arrangement everything there was very good her passport got stamped she went and it was a happy message which she shared that i got to eat maggi from there and we were so happy that okay finally she got something we are just happy with one part we don't think about anything about mbbs right now but we have got her back alive that is more than anything for us in this world